Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to talk a little bit about COVID-19. We are going to talk about the difference between an epidemic and a pandemic. We are going to talk about social distancing. And I'm going to give you some phrases that you can use to keep you and your family safe during this time. So first, an epidemic is when a disease spreads quickly to many people in a short period of time, probably just in one area, in one population, in one country. So an epidemic is when the disease goes from one person to another person to many people very quickly in a short period of time, mostly in one place. That is an epidemic. A pandemic is the same thing, but it spreads to more than one continent. It goes to multiple continents. It goes across the world. So a pandemic is a global epidemic. So those are the basic definitions. An epidemic is when a disease spreads quickly to many people in a short period of time, and a pandemic is when it spreads to many people in multiple, on multiple continents in a short period of time. Okay, basic definitions. Again, I'm an English teacher, I'm not a scientist. I'm not giving you technical definitions. I'm just giving you definitions that you can understand easily. Okay, and then what is social distancing? Social distancing is just the idea that you want to keep a safe distance, a safe space between you and people who do not live with you. And the Center for Disease Control recommends a um, distance of six feet, which in meters is about 1.88 meters, which is why we usually hear that you should keep two meters between yourself and other people. And um, that's the idea of social distancing, just keeping a space between yourself and other people for two reasons. Um, number one reason, to prevent spreading the disease and giving it to other people. Second, to prevent getting the disease yourself. And some people practice social distancing. Some people do not practice social distancing. In this video, I'm, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some phrases that you can help to keep yourself and the people around you safe, especially if there are other people who are not doing a good job of social distancing. So the first one is if someone comes very close to you and they're standing very, very close and you don't want them to, you can say, could you please back up, back up. Sorry, could you please back up a little bit? Could you please back up a little bit? Thank you. Okay. And if someone is not wearing a mask and you want them to wear a mask, you can say, could you please put on a mask? Or your mask, maybe they have it in their hand. Could you please put on your mask? Thank you. Could you please put on your mask? Okay, and maybe they have the mask, but it's down here and it's not covering their mouth and their nose. You can say, could you please pull up your mask? Could you please pull up your mask? Or maybe they have it like this and they look like an idiot because it's covering their mouth but it's not covering their nose. You can say, could you please cover your nose? Could you please cover your nose? And the last one is if someone's going to give you something, but you don't want to touch them, you don't want them to come near you, you can say, could you please leave it? 
Could you please leave it by the door? By means near. Could you please leave it by the door? Could you please leave it on the table? Could you please leave it outside? And leave just means you put it there and you go away. You leave it somewhere. So could you please leave it on the table? Okay, um, so again, I'm not a scientist. I'm just an English teacher. I'm just trying to give you some language that you can use if you want to need it. I hope it was helpful for you. If this is helpful for you and if you feel like this language might help to keep people safe, please go ahead and share it with your friends and family.